Hi everyone, Bailey here with another common tree ID video for the city of Lincoln, Nebraska. Today we're going to be looking at a tree called the black walnut. The scientific name is Juglans nigra. So it's actually in the same family as hickory trees, if you've seen those before, but it's only one of the common members in its genus that we see all throughout eastern North America. So the black walnut has a couple really interesting identifying features. So we'll go through some of those now. First, you can see behind me it has this gorgeous dark brown to black bark, and it's got these really scaly ridges, so it's deeply furrowed. This tree is older, and you can see it's developed these really deep furrows, so the parts that go into the bark, and these scaly ridges. And it almost looks like, in some cases, that the bark is braided in certain areas. It's really rough to the touch. Um, generally, this dark gray to brown to even black color. And walnut, if you're thinking about something like a walnut, actually produces a fruit. But it has this type of nut. So the nut is enclosed in what's called a husk, which helps protect the fruit from being eaten by different things. So when squirrels and other things that love to eat the fruits of this tree crack into it, they have to crack through this husk or this outer layer to get to where the nuts are. So that's generally what the fruit looks like. They'll fruit later in the year, so this is one from last year, which is why it's a little bit damaged. So first of all, we have the fruit and the bark, and the leaves are also really distinct. Here's a few examples here. In other videos, I've talked about different things like opposite or alternate. In the case of black walnut, their leaf and branching arrangement is alternate, which means if you look at a branch, they go every other along the branch up the tree. And additionally, for black walnut, they are even pinnately compound leaves. So this whole thing right here, this big long thing, is actually one leaf, and each of these little things that look like leaves coming off of that leaf are known as leaflets. In the case of black walnut, they'll have anywhere from 14 to 30 or so leaflets on a given leaf. It's variable depending on the tree and depending on the leaf that we look at. And they're what's called even pinnately compound, which means at the end of the leaf, you'll have a pair of leaflets together. They also have um, some really fuzzy, soft hairs along this structure in the middle of the leaf, which is called the rachis, so that helps us to identify it. And you can see those buds where the fruit will emerge later in the year. So again, even pinnately compound leaves, dark grayish black furrowed bark like you can see here behind me, and walnut nuts on the ground that if you're not quick enough to find them, the squirrels will tear them apart. Those are some of the main features about black walnut. Another really interesting thing about this tree that helps it defend itself in nature is that it's something called allelopathic. And what that basically means is that the tree releases a chemical into the soil that inhibits the growth of other trees around it. So it's a mechanism that this tree will use to help make sure that it has enough space and that itself and its seedlings that it puts out the next year are provided for and have enough resources. One final thing I'd like to mention about black walnut is if you crush the leaves, they're somewhat aromatic. They have sort of a spicy, sort of a spicy um, clove-like scent to them, which is something I always love to do to check and check my ID and make sure that it's not a hickory. And it's something I love to show to people who are looking at this tree for the first time. Again, it is native in this area, but it's commonly planted around the city. So take a look for the black walnut the next time you're in a walk in your neighborhood.